So here I want to, I would like to express my uh, sincere feeling uh, in a sincere way. I feel as if I, I am meeting with the relatives rather than my students. I feel like a relative of you all rather than a teacher. We are all Dharma relatives. We are all human beings. So we are all relatives. And we are practicing Dharma. So we are relatives in terms of Dharma too. So I am really glad to see you all here practicing meditation following the Buddha's instruction and the teaching. So I feel sincerely all my relatives uh, meet again and uh, we all together practice Buddha's teaching. So I really feel glad to see my relatives practice meditation intensively uh, in this way. Other than I feel uh, I'm a teacher. I feel I'm meeting my relatives. So, my relatives from uh, abroad and uh, local, Dharma relatives, come and uh, practice meditation here in this center very diligently. So, I willingly uh, shared my Dharma experience with you all. I'm really happy to get the chance to share my Dharma with you all. So in this regard, we should check to what extent we are able to enjoy the benefits of the Dharma. Here are many yogis, some are quality people, they are very busy with their lives and uh, their business, uh, their family life, so they are very busy. And uh, some of them, some of you are the monks and nuns, practicing Buddha's moral contacts, according to the Vinayaru. But uh, uh, supposedly they are also worldly people. Maybe they cannot avoid worldly pleasure. So, when, we, uh, when you all come and uh, practice meditation, both of worldly people or monks or nuns, we can, you come and uh, practice meditation here intensively, then what type of benefits you have obtained from this retreat? Anyways, here I believe you may have obtained to some extent the benefits of meditation. In this case, uh, there is a, Sarah so want to mention six uh, points to make a judgment of our benefits of the meditation. How much, how many benefits, or uh, how much benefits we have obtained from our practice. We must check from these six points of view. So this brief will be based on the Anotriya Sota, a discourse on the Anotriya. Anotriya means literally the quality, the highest quality. No any other quality is superior to this quality. So in simple term, it can be translated uh, the most superior quality. So this discourse on the most superior quality mentions six points to check our achievements. And seeing good or bad, pleasurable or unpleasurable, hearing sounds, voices, 
good or bad, blessed are ever or unblessed are ever. And sometimes we spend our time and energy and money to treat honorable guests and people. We devote our time and energy to education and business and so on. And then sometimes we have memory, good or bad, good memory, sometimes bad memory, very shameful memory. Sometimes we think of someone, we miss someone or something. So in this way we spend our life uh, us, uh, doing us and ends. Uh, sometimes not very meaningful and beneficial. So these things are what we are doing in daily life in an ordinary way. There's uh, nothing special. Nothing is uh, uh, worthy, just the uh, ordinary way of doing or living our life. So we all uh, have chance to see something or someone. We can hear uh, voices. These are ordinary way of life. The way we see, the way we hear, is uh, just ordinary, more or less, we can enjoy seeing or hearing. So there are uh, people of all workers' life. Some has high living standards, highly educated. Some are medium, some is low. But uh, all of us has chance to enjoy seeing, hearing, etc. So from this point of view, there is uh, nothing special or nothing is uh, worthy, just an ordinary way of living life. So we can have a chance to enjoy worldly pleasure, to uh, have the material achievements of the gold and the jewelry and the money and so on, or we can have a chance to, for higher education, more or less, we are educated. So we also treat people uh, honorable or not honorable uh, as much as we we can. And then we are thinking of what impressed on my memory, on our memory, good or bad. Actually, these things are just ordinary. Ordinary things, nothing is special, nothing is worthwhile, nothing is worthy. They're just ordinary things. So the way we live our life is a very ordinary, uh, very simple, uh, nothing is worthwhile. So now I want to explain so the best way we, should, we can live our life, uh, the, the most superior way to live our life. So there are the six points mentioned in the Pali text. Uh, the most superior way of living. Number one is uh, Dasana Nautriya. The most superior seeing. Number two, Savana Nautriya. The most superior hearing. Number three, Lava Nautriya. Uh, the most superior achievement. Number four, the most superior education Sikha or the, mo Nutriya. the most superior wisdom. Sikha Nutriya. Oh. Oh, Sikha Nutriya, uh, the most superior 
training and uh, number 5 parisiriya nukiriya lukizum yasum lukizum or the most superior or the best treatment or number 6 ultra and uh, the most superior remembrance or mindfulness so as the first point the buddha uh, mentioned the ordinary sight or seeing or species things in old days the people Uh, mistakenly believe seeing jewelry seeing and the royal elephant or horse are very auspicious and blissful sight they believe so sometimes seeing very highly qualified teacher also is regarded as a blissful sight maybe now it is people different people have different idea about the good or bad seeing or good or bad sight anyway these seeing or these uh, kinds of sight are actually ordinary things from the buddha's point of view these are worthless maybe sometimes this type of sight or seeing make our mind polluted or defined if we cannot cultivate the right attitude that's why the buddha uh explained this type of this type of seeing or sight as uh, hina uh, inferior sight or karma worldly sight or photogenica uh, the sight which is associated with the very ordinary people or anariya is a non noble or anatta sahida it's no conducive no beneficial or is a worthless is no conducive to the higher training or these this type of these type of sites are uh, uh, cannot helpful to overcome the sufferings or to overcome mental defilements like as like a desire since we are pleasure desire for since we are pleasure and so on so let alone uh, to lead nibbana so in this case uh, the buddha explain the most Uh, superior sight as so the most superior sight is uh, the sight of the the buddha only saint buddha and uh, his disciples noble disciples sangha with a full faith seeing or meeting such a noble people noble person uh, we be conducive to our higher knowledge or general uh, the higher mental attitude or the generosity noble contact or a contact and uh, noble wisdom so the side of the noble people and noble persons like buddha and uh, uh, his disciples are very superior to any other sight or seeing which arouse our faith in practice so we will ever do 
get the chance to practice meditation to purify our mind. So as you know, I, as I am Sarah said, he mentioned several times the benefits of the meditation, meditation. You can gain seven benefits from practice of vipassana meditation. The mental purification, the eradication or eradication of the worry or lamentation, mental or physical suffering, and uh, the ultimate goal is uh, to obtain the nibbana where there is uh, no more suffering mm-hmm. with the eradication of the all mental defilements. So this type of seeing, I mean the, the sight of the noble persons like Buddha and the Buddha's disciple is uh, very conducive to our life and uh, it leads us to ultimate purification of our mind and the ultimate goal of Nibbana. So, Sarah, I hope you will be able to appreciate the difference between the ordinary sight or the ordinary things and a very extraordinary sight or superior sight of the noble persons. So, from this point of view, you may check your achievement. เลดเดนเนเนเดียวอเมซอนิชิเยกูยอกอีโดไซนิเดปุยาอะเดกูเรกะบอลิฟงเปงวาซะตะบะทะอายอวอนซอเวยะตะบะทะอายมะชิวา
our mind and our mental objects. Why not these objects are observed when we develop vipassana practice? So we start to see uh, mental and physical phenomena. This type of seeing or this side of mind and body as they really are uh, in terms of the Dharma uh, experience should be said dasana nostriya, dasana nutriya, uh, the most superior sight or seeing. So you are all practicing with the diligence. Uh, you spend your time wisely here practicing meditation continuously. And also Sarah said he believes you will uh, maintain your practice at home too. I am practicing regularly, set a, a few minutes aside for every day. So in this way we can uh, keep our mind peaceful and uh, tranquil. And uh, we can develop our insight knowledge uh, up to the attainment or the mega of enlightenment. What's the uh, ultimate peace? So, Sierra, hope you will be able to appreciate the difference between the ordinary seeing and the extraordinary seeing or the superior seeing or sight or the mental and physical phenomena in terms of the Dharma experience. <laughs> ตัสสนานุสัยยะสีมุเวนโลจาเสยะคุณปิตังเยยูจาเนยะเนยะเลเวสวนานุสัยยะสีมุเวนโลฮุปปุสะวะริเซเลปิยะจังกะมะยะพ
So that that superiority is a lava lottery-ya, the superior gain or achievement. In a worldly way, we believe the gain of uh, our children on the jewelry are regarded as the uh, uh, superior gain or achievement. But actually, this type of achievement uh, cannot help us to overcome mental defilements, cannot purify our mind of uh, mental defilements from our worldly achievement. <coughs> so, superior achievement or superior gain is uh, the achievement of Seven noble wealth. Seven kinds of noble wealth, such as Sada, Faith, and uh, Sila, Moral Contact, and uh, Hiri, uh, Moral Shame, and uh, all the doing wrong things or misdeeds. Or the Otapa, the moral fear, you, uh, you are afraid to do or to commit misdeeds, this uh, Otapa. And the uh, Sudhatana, uh, this one is uh, knowledge or education, which is connected with the Dharma. Uh, first of all, you learn uh, Buddha's teaching and uh, Pali text. But later, based on that uh, paradox and scriptural knowledge, you practice until you attain Mega Flylight. This one is uh, Sutta Tana. And then Saga Tana. This one is uh, uh, charity or generosity. And, um, and the last one is uh, Panya Tana, the wisdom, wealth or wisdom. When we practice meditation, Seeing mind and a body arising and a passing away, arousing vipassana inside step by step until the achievement of the ultimate peace or nirvana. So this type of achievement is uh, the best and the most superior, the noblest achievement. <coughs> so, Sarah believe I practice meditation intensively. You all get the chance to enjoy <coughs> the benefits of meditation. And um, this type of the seven wealth, seven noble wealth. And so I believe you may gain more or less on the seven noble wealth. And uh, you can check by yourself with this uh, points, with these points whether you really gain uh, the Dhamma benefits uh, in terms of the wealth, Dhamma wealth. And then Saika Nudriya, the most superior training or the most superior learning. So Saika Nudriya literally means the, the fulfilling the full female or the trainer. In worldly affair, uh, there is a very advanced science and technology and art for our living. We all devote our time and energy to uh, these worldly, uh, worldly educations and trainings, arts, science and technology for our livelihood. Actually, these types of uh, trainings and uh, learning are uh, for this uh, present life. It cannot help to promote our more uh, contact, uh, concentration power, and uh, wisdom, wisdom level. So, uh, really, 
Subiria trainer is the, as you know, Silat Maritanya. Trainer of the Moray Conduct, Consultation and Wisdom. Through the Moray Trainer, the training of Moray Conduct, we can purify our physical and verbal behaviors and activities. And with the help of the concentration, we can keep our mind away from mental defilements. And through the Penya training with them, we can eradicate uh, all kinds of mental defilements uh, step by step. So by practicing Silas Mari Panya, Uh, we can live a very peaceful and a tranquil life. That's why this type of the training is uh, regarded or honored as uh, the most superior training and a learner. So we all are learning nowadays uh, with the purpose uh, to enjoy our pleasurable and a comfortable life. Uh, there are several types of the uh, science and technologies, several kinds of the science and technologies uh, we are approaches. Uh, so, by learning or training in a way of the uh, science and technology or the art, quadri art, we should check whether we gain what we want, the ultimate peace. We are really happy. We can live a really happy life. We must check whether we really become civilized or whether our lives are really peaceful and uh, safe and secure. Actually, it's uh, impossible uh, that this, this type of the science and technology and art help us to enjoy our life and ultimate peace uh, uh, cannot conducive to real happiness. So you can differentiate between two types of the learning or training, watery training and uh, dharma training. The, the fifth uh, nutria is the Paris Jiriya nutria. Uh, the superior treatment or service. Traditionally, or the, according to the, our custom or culture, we always proud of uh, treating honorable guests for serving honorable people. We serve honorable guests with uh, very delicious food and uh, so on. So we feel proud of doing so. So this type of service or treatment for the honorable people, the so-called honorable people, should not be regarded as a superior service. Or superior treatment. Real superior or noble treatment or service is uh, serving the triple gems, Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha. Nowadays, there is no more exist. Uh, the Buddha no longer exist. But the by practicing Dhamma and uh, Vinaya, discipline uh, laid down by the Buddha, we can return the attitude, uh, we can return the gratitude of the Buddha, Dhamma, and the Sangha. And um, this type of uh, return, this, type, this way of returning to the gratitude is uh, the best or the most superior service we can render to uh, to the sasana. 
So, instead of hope, you are able to uh, build or set up sadhana in your inner heart. So, you here, uh, in one way or the other, helping sasana. Given four types of requisites, or supporting uh, physically or financially. Uh, these type of services are regarded as a parisiya, nutriya, the most superior services. And moreover, here are the yogis who are practicing meditation intensively. Mm. So that's, of course, serving sadhana in terms of the dharma, the most superior way. There are many people and donors and supporters who contribute to the yogis who are practicing meditation seriously here in terms of the, uh, the financial way or in several ways. Many people are helping or serving the sadhana that which is uh, very superior in the beginning or middle or end. This type of sadhana is served in terms of the financial way or the uh, physical help or services. These are very superior or noble services we can render to sadhana. So these dharma services uh, can be carried out by practicing meditation intensively, uh, traditionally. This is called Dhamma Puja. So, through our Dhamma services, this Buddha Sasana will we be able to prolong cultivating or developing uh, the arousing the faith in the Sasana or the helping the coming generation develop in terms of the Dharma. So it is really encouraging and inspiring that you all here serving sadhana in one way or the other, especially by practicing meditation intensively or in supporting the financially or in one way or the other. Finally, Nutra Nutriya, the most superior or noblest remembrance. So in worry life, we remember of those who are, uh, who, who are beneficial to us. Sometimes we think of our family. Sometimes the monks and uh, their guidance are impressed on my memory and uh, we think of it repeatedly. But uh, a monk who teaches you, who teaches you the Dharma, should be the qualified enough to give the proper and uh, suitable guidance. Otherwise, that type of teacher or monk should not be honored as a uh, reliable teacher. So in worry life, we remember uh, several kinds of things and uh, several kinds of people. This type of remembrance, remembrance is not the superior, it's just the uh, ordinary, uh, nothing special, it's uh, just uh, should be said maybe sometimes worthless. So usually the Buddha gave us, lay down the good discipline and uh, give us uh, the best guidance. And uh, his uh, noble disciple and a follower, they also carried the Buddha's discipline and uh, guidance to us. So it is very important for all of us to find out the qualifying teacher and uh, follow his uh, guidance, uh, good guidance, 
so that we can keep our mind and peaceful and purify of mental defilements. So the Buddha, he laid down the disciplines and guidelines very consistently. The more we, uh, the more energetically or faithfully we follow the Buddha instructions and uh, guidance, the more benefit we can enjoy until the attainment of the Mega Plan Enlightenment and Nibbana. So the Buddha Dharma is uh, very uh, noble in the beginning or the, in the middle or the end. It's uh, completely perfect. So his guidance and uh, his uh, teaching and instruction are uh, they ensure of our uh, achievement of the Mega Flag Enlightenment. So there are many yogis here, I believe, who can feel, uh, who can enjoy the benefits of the meditation as if they were, uh, they were you know, really reborn as a different person or they feel as if they were transformed into the different person or the noble person. So in view of your purifying mental and physical behavior activities, you can share a hope you may be able to appreciate the benefits of the Dharma. So remember them or thinking of these benefits of meditation you have gained from the practice is uh, the best or the most superior remembrance for the notary. So, I don't believe you are able to differentiate between the ordinary remembrance and then the superior remembrance. Aswakya Waha Aswakya Waha Otu Otu Ida no Punya Ida no Punya Neva Nasa Neva Nasa Pacheyo Pacheyo Otu Otu Ima no Ima no Punya Bhagam Punya Bhagam Sava Sadana Sava Sadana Viva Jima Viva Jima Sabi Sada Sabe Saja Ima Bhunya Bhaga Ima Bhunya Bhaga Labaitawa Labaitawa Sukhita Sukhita Bhavandu Bhavandu Sadhu 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 So translation on the Pali just here, I just will repeat after here. It's may my merit, may the merits uh, I ever have done lead me to to the attainment of the Megaphala and Nibbana. All the merits I have done, I have ever done, uh, will be transferred to the all living being. May all living beings be happy and healthy forever. This is just a little translation of the, of the formula. Just we repeat after Sarah. So now, according to the uh, agenda six, uh, we attend the ceremony to recite the Sasana Satya Nokaja. So I will lead you, please repeat after me, to attend the ceremony. So Sasana Satya Nokaja Udi Bawadu Sabada Sasana Pija Sasana Pija Nokaja Jeeva Rakhandu Sabda 